Slap yourself. Slap yourself. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be talking about the top NFT games with massive potential you must check out. Make sure to smash the like button and watch it till the end guys so you won't miss any game. Gold Inc. Gold Inc. is an NFT play to earn game where you can mine real gold and build a real business in the world's most expansive mobile MMO. It is currently available for download in the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. The in-game currency GXB will be used for unique NFT equipment purchases in the market using your Apollo wallet. In Gold Inc., players can grow their real-world net worth while building a realistic mining empire, own finite land with real-world value, ally with friends, and rule over 10,000 players via the open-world governance. And the most amazing thing is that at any one point, players can prospect and own claims as much as 10 million US dollars. As the Gold Inc. player base grows, the competitiveness of finding actual gold will go up, and this will make the NFT items become rarer, harder to acquire, and ultimately encouraging players to also buy GXB off exchanges to create more demand. The value of GXB will go up every day. It's important to get in early on this game so you guys won't miss out on the profits. Therefore, use my referral code in the video description below now to start signing up for the game and start building your mining empire today. Defina Defina is an upcoming NFT card game which adopts blockchain technology that combines the concept of DeFi and NFTs. The in-game currency will be Fina. In Defina, Players will be able to buy or collect various NFT mystery boxes to get champions and weapons as well as fight and enhance their champions to learn skills in numerous game scenarios. They can also participate in DeFi, yield farming, and earn on-chain profits while enjoying a fun and strategic card game with PvP and PvE modes. Defina's vision is to bring blockchain to millions of players, allowing them to explore a new form of gaming through blockchain technology. What makes Daphina stand out is that they had their beta game release before token generation, and having played the beta game, we really love the graphics when the champions attack. It gave us lots of satisfaction when the different attacks went down and we see the damage. Daphina also has an active and engaging community with many community-driven activities like hero story competition, worldview story generation, fan arts, and emoji contests. And lastly, their gotcha game on chain allows for more transparency and also increases collection value. With legitimate investors like OKEX, Redline, and Legion Ventures, and Cedify, and much more, Daphina could be the next big thing in GameFi, thus do pay more attention to them. Follow their Discord channel, links in the description below, to know more about their game launch. Axie Infinity this tops our list in the top 10 NFT game apps 2021 because of its popularity and enormous fan base. An essential piece of this game is digital pets called Axies. Axie Infinity stands at the front line of the play to procure model, which players completely own the in-game assets. As expected, those virtual pets are tradable on Ethereum NFT marketplaces and the rate of every one of them relies upon their rareness and specific traits. To begin gambling the game, you must need to purchase three axes. For each quest, player versus player battle, and journey mode you can scale, you gain Smooth Love Potion, the platform's nearby ERC-20 application token, as an award. For each attempt to raise a spick and span axie, you should pay a specific amount of SLPs, which you could additionally purchase at exchanges. One more ERC-20 token neighborhood to Axie Infinity is Axie's Infinity Shard AXS, which has capabilities because of the game's governance token. It will even moor the game's staking transporter scheduled to stay in some unspecified time in the future of 2021. It is accessible on Windows, iOS, Mac, and Android. 9 Chronicles It's allowed to assume a part playing game, yet this has a technical twist. Like other role-playing games, you play as a globetrotter, collecting plunder, killing monsters, battling different players, and exploring a vast fantasy world. Be that as it may, Nine, what makes Nine Chronicles diverse is what's underneath. It's framed on a peer-to-peer -peer network of gamers and miners, somewhat like BitTorrent. 
This means that just any one company doesn't claim a focal server. In speculation, the entire online world will continue to exist as long as there are players. It's playable on Windows, and its Steam Early Access is coming soon. Townstar This cutthroat farming sim is developed by the innovative minds behind Farmville and Words with Friends. Townstar runs on a six-day cycle. Every Tuesday, the world guide is reset, and every one of the players start from nothing. You're building your homestead, hiring workers, selling, and trading your approach to becoming the most productive and successful rancher in the world. At the climax of each cycle, the top ranger wins celebration tokens, NFTs, and then some. The opposition in this game is growing at a rocket speed considering its incredible prize pools, which can be a million dollars, prize pool of May 2021. Townstar's beta version can be played on any modern browser. Lost Relics This is an ARPG action role-playing game following the tradition of Diablo, another popular game. Complete quests, kill monsters, overcome dungeons, and gather the rarest of loots. Also, these loots come in two ways, blockchain and virtual. Virtual items are those with which all of us are natural, such as weapons, armors, and accessories, which are controlled and maintained by the game's developer. Blockchain objects, then again, are decentralized. A gamer is allowed to use, trade, sell, transfer, and even discard them, and the developer can't do anything about it. Lost Relics is allowed to play with a possibility for a paid membership to open perks. The pre-alpha version is accessible for Mac and Windows. Be that as it may, player slots are limited. Splinterlands Would you be able to review that it was so easy to trade physical cards of games like Pokemon and WWE? Indeed, the Splinterlands is by and large that, however, in digital structure. You construct your deck with various fighters, abilities, and stats. Then, at that point, you battle different players on the battlefield. For each victory, your position increases, unlocking higher level cards and more rewards, which separates Splinterlands and secures its spot in our top 10 NFT games in 2021 is that the cards are NFTs. This means that players own the cards and have the freedom to trade, purchase, sell, and pay them whenever they prefer. Splinterlands is accessible on PC, Mac, and iOS. Sarar. With regards to talking about football, there's nothing else like a European fan base. So uncommon is another card collecting game. Imagine a 5A side fantasy football on a global scale. It features footballers from various leagues all throughout the planet. Using the Sarar cards, you can assemble your virtual team and join active leagues. The cards are an XP based on the player's performance in real life football matches. With each point gained, your team becomes stronger. This gives you an opportunity to contend in higher divisions and win great prizes. One of Cristiano Ronaldo's cards got sold for $300,000, making it the most expensive card sold in the NFT marketplace. With 135 licensed football clubs covering 23 leagues, Sarar is playable on any browser. Do like this video. Also, subscribe to our channel. Do let us know your thoughts about NFT games in the comment section.